Hey guys, I uh, just wanted to introduce you to uh, Adam East and uh, he works full time at a, at a marine shop, uh, Angler's Marine and uh, he bought a, uh, one of the Moreau 4 inch topwater bluegill baits a few months back and he called me up and says he's just been having uh, great success with it so he wanted to come down here and uh, meet up with him, uh, show you the bait and show you some of his retrieves and uh, how he's done on it. Yeah, you know what, lately this thing has absolutely been magic for me. Um, what it is, this is a 4 inch bluegill topwater bait made by Moreau Swim Baits. And the action of this thing coupled with the finish, I mean it is phenomenal. And what I do is I actually I use it on, this is 50 pound braided line and the reason why I use braided line for this is it's very buoyant and there's no stretch to the line. So you can actually, you, know, you don't have to work that bait too much to get the action that you want out of this thing. And you know, the bass don't care. I mean, they see this bait up there, they're thinking, well, I better get that bluegill before it gets away, before they even look at any kind of line like this. So this is the Moreau 4 inch top order bluegill. Absolutely worth every penny. All right, let's do a few casts and show them you what you've been doing with this bait. Now you caught a, you caught a five and a half pounder right here, didn't yeah. you? Yeah, I've just been kind of coming in here, you know, right after work, kind of killing the last 20 minutes of the sunlight. And, and it's been really fun. I mean, I've really been catching a lot of fish doing it. Now, you were saying that you haven't caught a fish under three pounds on this thing. I have not caught one fish under three pounds. This thing, it's just been a magic bait for me. I mean, just that side-to-side -side action on it. It's phenomenal. work this to where it get the salt water cast there you see that little bit of lead <laughs> like I'm throwing an iron there but uh you can actually make it slap see how the water is really choppy now I'm, I'm working it fast but it'll actually slap the top of the water so even though there's a little bit of surface disturbance I can call those fish up you know they'll, they'll see that bait now there's just a little bit of slap on there and I don't have to do that I mean I'm working the bait a little bit harder but I can actually make that bait sachet from side to side, really nice, gentle action on it also. And, you know, the fish, it just depends, you know. Chop your water, you want to make a little more disturbance with the bait. A uh, little, you know, let's say glassy water, well, you don't need so much slab disturbance, so you just kind of make it sachet, nice and gentle, you know, and I can make this thing walk too far. Why don't you show them how you uh, were telling me about your half step in it? Uh, well, what half stepping is, is basically, I'm going to throw a little bit off I'm gonna throw a little bit off the mark here, so that's a little far, but let's see if we can make it work still. And what a half stepping is, is that I do kind of a half step and then a long step this way. So what I'm trying to do is actually work up tight, close uh, next to the cover here. So just a little one, then a small, little one. I was a little far off the spot there. It's gonna take a little bit more, but see how- But you're just slowly working it to the right to get it into the yes, dock there. exactly. See how just a little bit and then you kind of half step and what that does is it puts you right next to the cover. See how I'm just kind of working up towards the cover? Uh -huh. And I literally, I can walk around trees, walk around, you know, just floating debris, whatever. And you'd be surprised what can happen. Let's try another one of those casts just to get up a little closer. Out. There we go. Now what I'll do is I'm going to bang this up against those boats, kind of create a little bit of a knocking action. Can you see that? So mm -hmm. just get right up next to them. There we go. And what that does is I'm just going right up next to it and just kind of giving it a... That's... See, I'm literally walking and I'm just clunk, just kind of hitting the boat now. Injured bluegill, not quite knowing where it's going. Yeah, it looks good. Well, Thank you, Adam. I appreciate it. I'm glad you've caught a lot of fish on this bait. 